I ask you to bear with me because I'm really mad, and when I'm this mad I sometimes verge on incoherence. What's more, this is going to be a three-part commentary over three days because I couldn't possibly abbreviate the subject matter further, and each commentary may be a touch longer than the norm, so please hang in there. Yesterday, Human Rights Watch, that uh, tremendously influential international human rights organization, released its latest report on the maelstrom of carnage and conflict in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's the most definitive report yet, and it's quite the harrowing document. With impeccable research, it establishes the collateral damage inflicted upon the people of the Congo by the latest military adventure, believe it or not, a joint adventure between the so-called Federal Congolese Army and the United Nations peacekeeping forces. You talk about an oxymoron. But the collateral damage has meant maiming and murdering and cutting to pieces of thousands of people and thousands of rapes of women with a savagery that knows no name. And this merciless raping, of course, has led to the transmission of the AIDS virus. So for the women, it's a continuing nightmare. And just a word of pot-boiled history. After 1994, that is to say after the Rwandan genocide, a million people crossed into the Congo, including huge numbers of genocidaires, the genocidalists responsible for the genocide, and they've inhabited the jungle ever since. And in the intervening 13 or 14 years, the Congo has descended into an infinite number of militias and marauding armies and local gangs who have murdered and raped for lust and pleasure, mostly to get their hands on the mineral resources of the Congo. Five million people have died in the process. And the military strategy of choice has turned out to be the raping of women. Half a million women, whole communities subdued through the mass raping of women. And then along comes the United Nations peacekeeping force known as Manuk, supposedly to bring peace and to protect the women. Manuk has been a colossal failure. And this latest military adventure called Kimya II, documented by Human Rights Watch, has been the greatest failure of all. Believe me, it's time for heads to roll. I'll deal with that tomorrow. I'm Stephen Lewis.